seemed all evil at the end. Not evil. You killed her son, lad. Her son. The death of a child is not something a parent gets over easily. But he was gonna kill her. She would have died to see him live. Only a parent can understand. So you'd let me kill you? If it meant you would live, yes. Look, there was no easy choice. For anybody, brother. But I think we can all agree you did the right thing. The world's a better place with Freya in it. Just give her time, lads. She'll come around. Back to Tyr's temple, then. One last time. Aye. Jotunheim awaits. Why did Baldur say we cost him? Odin must have convinced him that following you to Jotunheim would bring his cure. Lies, I'm sure. Why did Mistletoe break the spell? Vanir magic is powerful, but its rules are slippery and elusive. I'm sure it makes sense if you're a witch. Oh, but it's also bloody tragic. Baldur was the greatest gift Odin granted, Freya. The one thing she treasured from their marriage. The only hope to spare him pain and spare herself loss. Such impulses can lead good parents to make terribly stupid decisions. I can't believe Odin and Freya were ever married. Love and hate are more closely intertwined than you might imagine. For instance, Odin hates the giants and they him. But Thor's own mother was the giantess Fjorgun. One of Odin's great loves. So Thor's half god and half giant? Where? Once Fjorgun was gone, lonely ages passed for Odin. And as war with the Vanir raged, they could see what he really wanted beneath his bluster. And after no small amount of convincing, Freya agreed. For a while there, he really turned on the charm. He seemed happy. He seemed interested in making her happy. He granted us so many wishes, I can scarcely recall them all. The peace held, and I truly believed all had worked out better than I could have planned. And we'll pick this up later. That alchemist what needed finding? Suit yourself. Here we go! I can't believe we're gonna see the giants. Well, if things work according to plan. <clears throat> go ahead and lock in Jotunheim and we'll be on our way. Probably.
teaching me something? Let's hope this doesn't cause you to explode or anything. Oh, hadn't considered that. Maybe we should talk about this a bit more. Nah, I'm sure you'll be fine. Ready? Oh, that's unpleasant! Now, boy! A word, please, before we continue. Listen, the last thing you two need up there is a decomposing heat ruin in the moment. Why don't I wait for you here? This is between you and the boy. True. But if someone wants to fight... My lady sifts soft, perfect sloshers. You done did it. Sorry. We had to see this. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Fine, damn it. Fine. Watch the head till we return. I can do this. No, no, I can't. Oh. Okay. Ready. Come.
We're on the giant's fingers. I can see the highest peak ahead. Right over there. We did it. We did. What are you doing? I have nothing more to hide. Can we go now? We're so close. Boy. Hmm. Boy. It's nothing. I just thought I'd hear voices by now. Hello? Anybody here? What is this place? They must have all come through here when they left Midgard. What was left of them. Odin and Thor, ruining everything for everybody. Huh, who's the Guardian? I should feel them, but I don't. This place is dead. What happened to them? Why'd Mom send us here? One question is answered, and two more take its place. Wait! Father! Something's happening! your axe. It's Muller. Look. She's arguing with a bunch of giants. She knew giants? That's us. The first time we met the world serpent. But how? And our fight with Balder. But that just happened. Wait. They knew everything that was going to happen. The dragon in the mountain. The stone mason. All these drawings. This is our story. No. This is your story. But, what does it all mean? That I was not the only parent with secrets. You didn't know. She was a giant. I'm a giant. Why 
didn't she tell us? She sent us here knowing we would find this. But why not just tell us the truth? Your mother would have had good reasons. Baldur was never sent to find me. He was tracking her all along, not knowing she was only ashes. If she had a plan for us, I trust it. Whatever it is. Besides, she hasn't been wrong yet. Come on. We're so close to the end now. Yes. Yes, we are. Look, it's Mother's. She was here. She saw every step we took before we took it. Like she was always with us. Watching over us. Leading us home. Let's finish it. Together. Son. Goodbye, Faye. I love you, Mom. The Giants. They really are all gone. There's nothing for us here. Come. So, I get that Mother was a giant. Which makes me part giant and part god. And part mortal. Right. I guess there's just one thing I don't understand. My name on the wall. The giants called me... Loki? Loki? That's the name your mother wanted for you when you were born. She must have called you that to her people. But why? A question for another day. Let us go home.
guess it all makes sense now. Why she want to end up here? Be with her kind? But did she know it was going to be like this here? Is this what she wanted us to see? Did she want us to tell the people? Or keep the secret? I do not know. So what should we do? I trust you to decide that. Oh. So, why'd you want to name me Atreus? I know it can't be for a god. <laughs> no. He was a soldier. A Spartan. A great warrior? All Spartans are great warriors. We trained from birth. Our lives were discipline, duty, battle, and death. Life was grim, and we greeted it grimly. Hmm. But Atreus of Sparta was unlike the rest of us. He wore a smile even in the worst of times. He was happy. He inspired us to hope that though we were machines of war, yet there was humanity in us. Goodness. When the day came for him to lay down his life in battle, his sacrifice saved countless others and turned the tide in our favor. I carried him home on his shield and buried him with all the honors of Spartan custom. His memory was a comfort in dark times. Wow, you actually told a good story. We I mean, missed it. I understand if you want to go home. But maybe helping people is part of why mom sent us out here, too. I mean, what would Atreus of Sparta do? And what would Loki do? Huh. That's a weird name. I'm glad we went with yours. Am I glad to see you? I believe I've reached my limit for dwarven charm. What happened, Amir? They took an uncomfortable number of measurements and then proceeded to bicker about the weather. Where do you want us to take you? How about the warm confines of anywhere bloody else? Before we return to Midgard, I should warn you, more time has passed than you want to realize. The snowfall that began when you slew Balder, it's become something else. The stuff of Romans. Romans? For the coming of winter? Not just any winter, but a great winter to span three summers. And when it's done, Ragnarok begins. Ragnarok? From snow? Aye, snow. Wars, more snow. And then the end of the bloody world. In that approximate order. Another prophecy. No, brother. Prophecy doesn't expect this for a hundred more winters at least. You've changed something. Prophecy didn't count on you. I'm telling you, it's Fimble winter. I can feel it in my throat. This is the big one. Stop saying that. Oh, you're making me very nervous. It was bound to snow sooner or later. That ain't just snow, and you know it. It's the end times. How dare you make me the voice of reason? Nice. 
Just discussing the weather. Bit of a cold snap lately. What he means is, Fimble winter's upon us, boys. The winner to end all winners. I can feel it in my school. Y yeah. We... We heard. So, if you're heading home, try to keep moving. And also, to not die. Or if you're not heading home, same advice. Maybe next time.